Whatever you do, do not mix benzoyl peroxide with these ingredients. I'm dermatologist Dr. Jenny Liu, and today we're going to discuss what ingredients you should not mix together. So benzoyl peroxide is such a wonderful ingredient. I prescribe it all the time to my acne patients. It's effective in killing bacteria and minimizing inflammation. And it does it in such a way where it creates this oxidative process, and that's really how it helps to minimize resistance. And as, as you know, bacterial resistance is super common and happens all the time with acne treatments as well. And so often we as dermatologists will prescribe benzoyl peroxide when we're prescribing other anti-acne medications like a topical antibiotic to minimize that resistance that can happen. Benzoyl peroxide works by creating reactive oxygen species and that's really how it works. And it does it in such a way where you can't develop resistance. And that's really the beauty of benzoyl peroxide. Now because of its mechanism of action, that also means that ingredients that you have in your routine that are sensitive to oxidation can degrade in the presence of benzoyl peroxide. So when I'm referring to benzoyl peroxide that may degrade your skincare in active ingredients, I'm mostly referring to benzoyl peroxide in a leave-on treatment, so spot treatment or creams. This does not apply when you're using benzoyl peroxide as a cleanser because as a cleanser it works when it's on your skin but that reaction stops as soon as you wash it off. So if you want to incorporate benzoyl peroxide into your routine but don't have, want to worry about whether it's interfering with your other skincare products or other active ingredients, the simplest answer, you guys, is to really use it as a cleanser. And that is what I recommend to my patients because it, cleansers still work, they're effective. And the other thing too is it's far less irritating than benzoyl peroxide as a spot treatment. So there you go, use it as a cleanser. But if you absolutely love benzoyl peroxide as a spot treatment, then these are a few ingredients you definitely want to avoid, meaning you don't want to use it in the same routine. So space them out like either morning and night or say alternate days of use. Ingredients are sensitive to oxidation are number one, topical vitamin C, two, hydroquinone, which these days now you can only get it as a prescription, and three, topical retinoids. Mainly I'm referring to topical tretinoin, which is a prescription, as well as over-the-counter topical retinol products, mostly used for anti-aging and evening out skin texture and skin tone. These ingredients can be very unstable and can easily degrade in the presence of light, heat, as well as other ingredients that generates oxidation. Those are the ones that you want to avoid. So if you are using like a topical vitamin C, which we often use in the morning, my recommendation is to use your benzoyl peroxide at night or use it as a cleanser. Same thing for your hydroquinone. If you're gonna be using that, then use your benzoyl peroxide as a cleanser or alternate the times of use. With the topical retinoid, because we most to use topical retinoid at night. You can, again, use it as a cleanser because it's not going to be an issue there. Otherwise, use your benzoyl peroxide in the morning. Benzoyl peroxide is one of my favorite ingredients and I use it every day, but I use it as a cleanser. That way I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it interfering with my other skincare actives. And I mentioned this before, but two of my favorite benzoyl peroxide cleansers are the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser and the Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser. So you can check those out and you just leave it on for a few minutes and you rinse off and that is just as effective but far less irritating and the best thing is you don't have to worry about it interfering with your other skincare ingredients. So hopefully that clarifies some confusion for you guys and if you guys enjoyed watching this video I would love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find me more on social media on Instagram as well as TikTok. I will see you guys next time!